Words, at the height of their power, do not convey the beauty, vastness, and mystery of Andrei Tarkovsky's films. To engage with the outstanding repertoire of Russia's greatest motion picture auteur requires an absolute immersion in the visual domain, as well as patience, imagination, and a profound faith in the creative process. Tarkovsky's cinematic language, developed over seven feature-length titles, is neither conventional nor especially plot-driven, but instead focuses on the inner worlds of on-screen characters, their existential crises and spiritual quests. The Tarkovsky image is interminably poetic in pursuit of realities beyond the material world. His primary method was to sculpt time by fixing reality, preserving passing moments with exceptionally long takes, and using cinematography to generate a mosaic of time. Brooding trees, flowing rivers, decaying buildings, religious paintings, smoldering flames, the repositioning of nature indoors, these are the unmistakable symbolic cues that indicate entry into a metaphysical dream zone. Psychoanalysis serves a vital function in providing a unique platform to access a multitude of interpretations, searching for possibilities in dream rooms through which Tarkovsky moved so easily. Psychoanalysis is the study of unconscious drives, where conscious personality is viewed as covering up hidden psychic motives. Sigmund Freud regarded dreams as valid mental phenomena requiring integration into waking life. He referred to dreams as the royal road to the unconscious, where ego defenses are lowered and repressed material arises to awareness, providing clues about the unconscious mind. Approaching the cinematic image as a dream work is a psychoanalytic exercise. Film interpretation is a projective test. Functioning like a dream, Cinematic material evokes personal associations, emerging from a realm below conscious awareness. In all instances, audience members confront subjective unconscious activity in the act of spectatorship.